Hi again. Uh, since I had a lot of questions about my other HTC helmet, I thought I'd bring out this one, which is the V90. Uh, this I bought basically because I like to pose, and it's a double face shield. Looks a bit more retro, but again, it has the benefit of being a modular design. And I like my modular designs with my drop down face shield. This one I've actually had for coming up on four and a half, five months, and I actually bought this before I bought my other HGC uh, modular. And based upon how nice this one was, that's why I went for the other. Now this one is pretty low on features. You've got a ventilation section at the top here, which I've always kept in the open position. No adjustment on the ventilation in the front, it just exists. One exit port on the rear there, which you can see. And the standard ratchet, micro ratchet straps. What it does have is a bubble shield with multiple uh, positions. You can get different flavors of shield. I've kind of got the transparent on because it is winter and realistically I need to see and the darkness comes down. It has an internal sun visor. This one actually is at a different angle than the other. And so it takes a bit of muscle memory to remember which way around this particular helmet opens and closes. That is probably my most annoying thing about this. It's the angle of this is different from the angle of my other HTC modular. The other difference is this clip here is a lot easier to access. And it comes up. Again, padding on the inside is very, very nice and comfortable. The clip on this one is much easier to get down and locks into place much easier. It doesn't have that need for me sometimes to hold the back to make sure it slaps down into place, which is a difference than the other. The other similarity with this is again, size eight and large. Fits perfectly across the board. I've not had a problem with HGC larges being inconsistent. And again, it does have the position there to put in the smart HGC intercom unit, but because this is the helmet I rode my stuff to when I'm riding the Ducati, which is a solo bike, I haven't fitted an intercom because I don't like to listen to music on my own. And I don't have my wife on the back to chat with as we're riding along. Noise levels on this. This one is actually slightly noisier than the HGC Adventure Modular. Only slightly, I don't really notice the difference too much. I think it's more to do with the wind flow going over it and the fact that I normally ride this on a naked bike so it feels a little bit noisier. I'll have to take it out on the Versus with a screen to see if it is the bike that I'm using it on versus the actual helmet. But again, I ride with simple foaming earplugs and I've not really had any gripes or any kind of ear issues off the back of it or gives me any headaches. Fit-wise, I have ridden for a full day in this six hours or so, and it is comfortable as anything. I really do like the fact that I can flip up the front, get a drink, chat, get off the bike, get back on the bike after putting up the petrol and not have to keep adjusting my helmet because I do wear glasses. And again, there is a nice bit of space there for your glasses. And even with the visor down here, there is room underneath that for your glasses if you've got small frames, which I do. This is just kind of 30 seconds to go through what this one's like, because again, I've not seen many people talking about it, and I thought there was enough interest in the other helmet, I'd bring this one across. I will probably be replacing the bubble shield for a different bubble, perhaps the silver iridium or the gold. Uh, depending on the choices, there are about four or five different shields for this. They all look, they all look beautiful to be fair, but they are quite expensive, about £60, give or take. This helmet itself I picked up just before Christmas and was at 170 I believe, in a sport bike shop sale. So, you do see them at a decent price, I would recommend picking it up. I think it looks great. Uh, it fits the my aesthetic as much as we're all vain bikers. I think it's nice to have something pretty. And that's this bike uh, helmet. Not much more to add. 
That's what it says on the tin. I thought I'd back my bill. All right, cheers.